What's up everyone, Matt Spamberg here with another episode of Old City Living presented by Reach Realty, where your future is within reach. And we had a lot of requests for today's video. We are actually at a weekly local favorite, the St. Augustine Beach Pier Market, um, that happens every single Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So let's go check it out. At the Pier Market, you got a little bit of everything. And uh, we're actually with Kevin Forsyth with First City Stained Glass. And, uh, he offers handmade stained glass here, made locally in St. Augustine. And uh, want to tell us a little bit about your art? Well, I started in the, back in 1979 when, a college, when I was a college student. Um, my work is all original designs okay. and originally made by me. It's all hand cut stained glass, as you mentioned. It goes anything from actually objects to uh, abstracts and things like that, and a little bit of everything. It's it's mostly what hits me that week when I'm working. Yeah. But I like to work with a lot of colors, and I like to let the glass do be showcased. You know, yeah. I don't want my work or my talents to overcast the color of the glass or the glass itself. So, how long does it take you to make something like this? Well, for me, the the designing part probably takes as long as anything. Yeah. I'm not. I don't consider myself a natural oh, right. artist or drawler, yeah. uh, so designing takes me a while. So every so when, single piece of glass is hand cut to that shape though. And, and hand soldered. That's like when you said my lines are so good, yeah. mo a lot of people will come up and think yeah. that's letting. And uh, well that's why some people <laughs> say, oh you're like you, oh your yeah. lines are really good. Or somebody who does stained glass will come in and say, oh your soldering is really good. Yeah. I'm like, well after 44 years, you sh I should be. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again. Thanks. Make sure to come see Kevin. Kevin, come check out his beautiful artwork. Um, again, made here locally. And uh, thanks again, Kevin. Let's check the rest of the market out and see what else there is to offer. So here at the Pier Market, you have all sorts of things from stained glass that we just checked out, to jewelry, to even really delicious food, like different chilies, um, all local artists. And uh, let's go check out more of the booths. Morning, how you doing? Excellent. So we make seasoning and cocktail salts with all fresh grown herbs and peppers. Okay. My wife and I grow about 80% of the produce ourselves in Jacksonville. Grind it up into the salt while it's still fresh and wet and then cook everything dry. Do you like garlic? I do. This is my most popular flavor. It's called Vampire Killer if you want to give it a sniff. It's made with garlic and garlic Ooh. chives. That's really good. Yeah, so we've been doing this about a year and a half. It started during the pandemic. We put a raised garden bed in the backyard, oh, yeah. um, grew a huge basil, ran out of stuff to do with it. You can only use so much <laughs> yeah. fresh basil. My wife took it, cooked it up into some salt. It was delicious. And then we had a few other things we were growing. We made a few more flavors. People really liked it. And it was like, let's just keep making this. Now, a year and a half later, she got me to quit my job and come work for her. Uh, and you know, that, here incredible. I am selling salt on a Wednesday morning and I'll get to go home and spend the rest of the day with my daughter. Well, thanks for all the information. And uh, what's your business name? Somersaults. Somersaults. Next time you're at the market, come see Somersaults. Thanks again. Thank you, yeah, here every Wednesday. Okay, perfect. I walked by earlier and I was just like, how are those things cool, made? Right? Yeah. I mean, they're cool to feel. I mean, it's, you know, it's almost like stone. It's so smooth. Oh, and it's light, too. A whole yeah. lot lighter than you would think. Yeah. Although some pieces feel this one. This is, depending on yep, where that's, you get, heavy. Yeah. Right? It tastes unique. And you can put sauces, dips, salads, fruits, everything on the top. Okay. So it's great for the Does kitchen. it add any, like, it being a real wood? Yeah. Um, does it add any like extra flavors if like you have a sauce in there? I mean it's natural. So okay. Sure, you might taste a you know. Get like a hint of. Something. Okay. Yeah. It is organic. There's no chemicals or anything. We just soak it in a salt brine. Okay. And then we rub all of it on. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, they're beautiful pieces. Yeah, the only well, thank you so much yeah, for all the information you. and letting us look have around. A great day. Repping Jags. Yeah. Got a two-week window. 
Yeah. There's definitely some Eagle fans here, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. Have a good one. We even got some kombucha here. What's up, buddy? Good, how you doing? I'm Matt. Steve, nice to meet you, man. So, uh, tell us what you got going on here. So, we produce a um, farm to table kombucha. Our signature kombucha flavor is a butterfly pea flavor kombucha. It's made with the butterfly pea flower. It's got this beautiful purple color. We grow these flowers on our farm. And then, uh, same with the turmeric, too. This comes all from our farm in uh, San Mateo. We're using botanicals that we grow from the farm and using that as the sole tea base. So, yeah. this is just solely butterfly pea flavor, a pea flower kombucha. Yeah. And then we do a hibiscus roselle flavored kombucha with just hibiscus roselle. And then we also do a Tulsi holy basil, all coming from the farm. Health benefits, so the raw form of probiotics, and people kind of like, what's a probiotic? It's basically, it helps your gut stay regular. You know, you can find them in a lot of different foods. Most people take them from a capsule, but the raw forms of probiotics are found through fermented foods, kombucha, water kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi. How often should you drink it then? Every day. Every day? Eight ounces a day in okay. the morning or at the end of the day, depending if you had like a really, you know, like a big diet of really bad foods. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it helps to kind of digest all that stuff. It's mind and body, you know, the more you get your body unlocked, your mind is firing yeah. with your body, so. That's awesome. Well, thanks for the information, of man. Of course, man. Thank you for having me. If you guys want a healthy gut, come see you, Steve. Are you here every Wednesday morning? Every Wednesday from 8 to 12. Okay. Come see Steve. Thank you. Yeah, of course, brother. Thank you. There's a ton of different products here from organic foods, jewelry, hand carved bowls, stained glass. Uh, we've met with a lot of the artists, so it's just an incredible thing to come see. We'll keep looking. We're with Scott with Original Art here in St. Augustine. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Hi. How are you? Good, good. You want to tell us a little bit about your art? Okay. I'm the artist, and I paint the paintings here. And then I print these myself. That's one um, of downtown St. Augustine. So is most of your art based on uh, local areas yes, here? Yes, local all paintings. This is St. George Street. So you actually sat down in St. George and did that? Wow. Yeah, when it was legal. These are watercolors over here. See, this is um, the Casa Monica Hotel. Diversity, yeah. and I have uh, different mediums. Like, that's Avalee Street. You got, you got a favorite you work with, or a favorite location you like to paint? Or uh, just a little bit of everything? Yeah, yeah I guess this is a 30-year collection. And then uh, these are uh, the originals over here. That's uh, the horse and carriages. And then this is the... Uh, Horses. I call this one neighbors. If you're looking for any local art, especially based here in St. August, Scott Romando. Scott Romando. Yeah. Thank you again. As you can tell, the Pier Market is a huge hit, and this is just a glimpse of what it's like to visit or live in St. Augustine. Every Saturday morning from 8.30 to 12.30, they actually hold a larger market at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. A lot of these products are one of a kind, from the bowls we saw to the stained glass, but if somehow you can't make it to one of these markets, I just came across a new cool local business called the Super.com, where they give you the opportunity to shop St. Augustine anywhere in the world, and many of their products are from people at these markets. So if you feel like shopping St. Augustine anywhere in the world because you can't make it to one of these great markets, use code OLDCITYLIVING to receive 10% off your first order on the super.com. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Old City Living where we showcase everything Northeast Florida. Uh, future episodes will include some of the other markets here in St. Augustine, but thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see you next episode of Old City Living.